Well, I want to put out something a little bit controversial because it relates to Noah's Ark, but actually not. But, you know, I put something out and uh, I just thought it was interesting that they had a scientific study that says the um, Ark, if it was actually built to the dimensions it said it could have been built at, you know, it could have floated at 70, the approximate weights of 70,000 animals, as in, you know, in the Bible stated, which, I don't know, I thought that was pretty interesting, you know. I don't like push the story one way or the other. But I have noticed that the scientists can be as just as dogmatic and the atheists can be just as dogmatic as the religious. And it's just my personal opinion, and it's not even all the time, but sometimes the, mo the most religious people are the worst people going. That's my opinion on that stuff. You know, they use it as a club. But then again, there's extremely religious people that are extremely good people. So that's kind of how I see it. But I want to put this out here because... This was more of a recent, recent discovery, and this wasn't from uh, some religious person telling you. I don't, I don't know if there's any religious person saying it, because I'm not that familiar with what a lot of religious people say. But, you know, like a lot of things, a lot of times, you know, you would think, you know, well, this is one thing you would have a problem with the story of Noah, right? Well, now you know the ark could have floated the animals, right? There's one, you know? I mean, it could have happened, right? Who the hell knows? And... And you wonder, like, where did the oceans go? The oceans receded, right? So, maybe you know, supposedly the, the ark floated up on the top of, near the top of Mount Ararat, uh, between the Caspian and Black Sea, um, in Turkey, basically near Turkey, right? In Turkey, I guess. Supposedly that's where it landed, right? On a high mountain. It looked like an island. And you wonder, where the hell did the waters go, right? Now, this is not something I got from the religious people, and I'm not somebody who's like a real, I don't study the Bible or nothing. I mean, I read stuff. I read, I read a lot of stuff. So I just thought this would be interesting. In 2007, February 2007, actually, I don't know if it was even before that, but it basically was an article from then. And you can read Google this. It's, it's, there's various articles all over the place. I'm just going to highlight some stuff. There is a huge ocean discovered inside the Earth. Basically, the scientists scan deep in the Earth. And they found evidence of a vast water reservoir beneath the eastern Asia, uh, basically around a point of where Beijing is, where there's a lot of earthquakes, you know, in China. That is at least the volume of the Arctic Ocean. Hey, so maybe that's where the water receded to. It went inside the Earth. Supposedly, there's like, you know, there's the oceans on the top, then there's the crust, the crust of the Earth, then there's a layer of you know, it's controversial. It's like they don't they say it's probably not water that you can sail on, you know, like it's pure liquid, but it's it may look like rock to the eye, but it, it's got so much water in it that a large percentage of the rock is actually water, you know? And um, they found this out a couple different ways basically. This was back, you know, I don't know, about 6 7 years ago, more than that even. So it's not that recent, but there's other stuff that came out that's even more recent. But basically, they analyzed more than 600,000 seismographs, and they recorded waves generated by earthquakes traveling through the Earth, collected from instruments scattered around the planet. And they basically came up with a lot of stuff. Of uh, they, they found a composition of the planet to be in some layer beneath the car Earth to look like um, water. It looks like water. Water. Now, actually, even the composition of rocks in the ocean, when it gets down real deep, the composition of actual rocks that look solid, they're 15% water. So, you know, if you say the, the oceans receded, and <laughs> where the hell did the water go? You know, with the Noah story, it went inside the earth, you know? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. But, I mean, you know, if somebody's, like, religious and wants to believe the story, absolutely. And it's absolutely the gospel. It's absolute truth. Well, gospel's from Jesus. But say it's in the Bible, it's absolute truth. Yeah, I guess you can argue it scientifically, too. There's, there's all kinds of ways. And, you know, science got their dogmas, too. I mean, they, they're like religious freaks. You know, well, <laughs> you know, I'm not too keen on, like, a lot of people get too extreme in religion. But it depends on the person. And But the scientists get the same way. They got their scientific dogma. You know, they get all like, you know, it's got to be this way, you know, and they will not change. 
You know, and that's the other thing too. If something else comes up that refutes their 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 findings from before, they don't they they get as extreme as you know people that are that can be religious. So it's just like it's all over the place, you know. Um, the other thing is the crust of the Earth is about 18 miles under the under the land, right? It's about 18 miles deep, the crust of the Earth. But under the oceans, it's only about three miles, and there's all these tectonic plates and cracks and stuff like that. So maybe it's possible that water can go into the Earth, and when it gets near the molten core, it basically comes. It only goes up so far, and there's like supposedly a layer of not like pure water, but it's like a layer of a mixture of highly um, well, basically highly liquid rock, I guess you would call it. You know, that's what they would describe it as. Now, something else that came up, and this, I think, was very, very recent. There was this type of diamond that came up from Brazil. And it's like, actually, the diamond itself is not really worth anything because it's not a pretty diamond. It's like, they said it's only worth like about 20 bucks. But um, it came up, and actually, it was... It was uh, shown to be mostly water. The diamond itself, it had water in it, or not mostly water, but it contained too much water that it basically proved the theory that inside the earth there's a lot of water. Now, does this prove Noah's story? No. No. But, I mean, it doesn't, you know, if you want to say that, you know, that's how the freaking oceans receded and they went into the earth, right? It could be there's water inside the earth. I mean, a seismologist showed that, you know, back years ago, that there's at least a you know, body of water as large as the Arctic Ocean inside the Earth, below the crust, but, you know, above the molten core. So who the hell knows, right? And uh, they came across something that was, um, basically they say the water is not shrinking around inside the planet, but it is held fast within minerals, which are known as Earth's transition zone. So there's different theories. Some are saying that it's like an ocean. Some are saying it's transition zone, which stretches from 250 to 400 miles beneath the surface, so well below the crust. Because you know the crust is like three miles deep below the surface when it's on a deep part of the ocean, and it's about 18 to 20 miles deep when it's um, below the land mass. So that's another thing. Basically, they found these rough diamonds that came up through like volcanoes or something with vast quantities of that showed that there's vast quantities of water inside the earth. And uh, it provided absolute scientific evidence of a major wet zone that was about, I don't know, 250 to 400 miles down beneath the surface of the earth. And these diamonds, these rough diamonds, they aren't worth much because they're not pretty because they got so scarred up from like coming up from the volcanic ash and stuff. They were found in Brazil, I think they said, in Brazil. So they long thought, the scientists long thought, hey, this has been a theory. So I mean, you know, they did this with seismologi seismologists, whatever, with the graphs and, you know, pinging down into the earth, whatever instruments they had. And they said it come up with like uh, that the earth contains a lot of water deep below the surface, you know deep below the crust. So they always thought there was uh, large reservoirs of water deep beneath the crust, but they weren't sure whether the water existed low as the transition zone, which is between the upper and lower mantles. And actually these type of diamonds that came up that they found recently that look like they're scarred up black diamonds are not really worth something for like jewelry. But what they found out, there's a lot of water in them. So, anyway, to confirm predictions from high-pressure laboratory experiments that a water reservoir comparable to size to all the oceans combined, combined, this is the other study, all the oceans combined, is hidden deep in the Earth's mantle. So one study said there was a, you know, with seismology graphs, they said that there was an ocean as large as, or larger than the Arctic Ocean beneath the surface. And this was, they were looking in the earth around Beijing, China. And then they found, 
these other scientists through analyzing these kind of diamonds that came up from deep from within the earth and how much water they contained um, they said that there's water reservoirs that are actually bigger than all the oceans combined that are hidden deep in the earth's mantle now there's a lot of you know how much is water like just liquid liquid how much is like mainly rock and it contains a lot of water you know that's that's all up to debate but you know if you wanted to know like you know the, o the oceans all receded where the hell the water go you know it's a little common sense thing you know if this story is true with Noah where'd the water go right well could have went inside the earth right I don't know I have no idea man I wasn't there <laughs> And, you know, <laughs> I mean, how the hell would I know, right? I mean, how would anybody know for sure, right? How would anybody know for sure, right? It's impossible to freaking know. And, you know, that's the, that's the contention that the religious take it. It's just a take it on faith. It's written in the Bible. You know, so, I don't know. But, if you want to look at it scientifically, you know, it makes it, there's another thing out there that makes the story more plausible or, you know, possible, how's that? Maybe if you don't believe it or what. But, you know, I have to say that, you know, there's there's all kinds of people like that. I mean, there's the scientific people, like you got archaeologists that'll say, you know, you know, to discover something in Mexico with some of the pyramids, and they'll say the pyramids in Mexico, like from the Indians, the Aztecs and stuff, they're going back like, you know, over 10,000 years. Then that archaeologist gets in big trouble because... They're going against the dogma of the other archaeologists, you know, which is supposed to be just taking facts and just saying this is what the facts are. So there's a lot of stuff like that going on. So anyway, you know, it's a matter of, you know, the religious can be extreme, but so can the scientists. So that's just a matter of, you know, what it is. Anyway, over and out, I figured I'd just put this out here for uh, food for thought. It's it's more recent. Um, it's more recent discovery, so like this stuff isn't really brand new. So I mean, if you went back even 10 years, it was like really theoretical. And it was basically like a seven years ago, they went with the more seismological pinging or graphs or whatever the hell they used, the instruments, and they discovered Arctic Ocean size body that was maybe bigger than the Arctic Ocean. And then these diamonds that came up from the earth with uh, all the water content and improved the other theories which then they're saying that there's likely more oceans under the oceans and you know there's bigger volumes of water under the under the crust that are larger than all the oceans put together um, that exist so you know if you're wondering about Noah's story if the waters receded where to go it went inside the earth right I don't know it is for a fact but you know, it's one of those things out there. You got to kind of figure it out. I don't know what's true or not, you know. How the hell would I know? But how would anybody know? How would anybody know? Nobody knows, right? But it's just something scientifically that makes this story, you know, it could be possible, right? So I'll figure to point it out for a point of interest. Anyway.